hi guys and welcome to my channel so today we are doing my declutter series of my powders i was going to do powders and creams together until i went through my collection and noticed um, i have a lot more than i assumed so we're going to just split up between powders and creams don't forget to give this video a thumbs up especially if you've been enjoying this declutter series this will be the second to last like i said creams will be the very last one then we're done for a while we'll do it again probably early in 2024 so like maybe springtime maybe even like late winter of this year I don't know we'll we'll see but we will be doing this more often but please give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed these and subscribe I love to have you a part of my YouTube family and don't forget to have that bell notification on so you're notified of all my videos especially when we get to the creams of my blush bronzer and highlighter all right so let's go ahead and grab a snack Grab a drink because this one will probably still be somewhat long. This why I split up because it would have been way too long to have creams and powders together. And let's go ahead and get to it. All right, let's go ahead and start with my highlighters. I don't have too many because I kind of got away from highlighters for quite some time. And then the first one I'm going to share with you is the reason why I got back into them somewhat. I still don't use them every day. So this one is not going to be hard. Um, the Bronzer and blush is gonna be the hardest. It's, I'm going to be very cutthroat here, and especially with my creams. But with my creams, I kind of have a good idea on which ones I'm just not liking that I've been trying over and over and just isn't jamming. And some of these products are new to my collection. You may have not seen a speed review on some of them. I actually think there is one in here you haven't seen a speed reviews in for a powder, or yeah, bronzer, if I remember correctly. But Anyways, I digress. Let's go ahead and start. The first one I'm going to share is the Rare Beauty here. This is the new Positive Light, and I have it in Exhilarate. And, well, let me just show you how much has been used. What do you guys think? Keep or toss? Or, or not toss, but keep or donate? I think we're going to keep, because clearly you can see from usage how much I love it. I am obsessed. Like, this is so beautiful. So we're keeping that one. I mean... Look at that blinding highlight and you need very, very little. And I feel like it just melts into the skin. And honestly, even if you're someone with texture, I feel like it's a great highlighter to have. And this is the one that got me back into highlighters, but I haven't bought another one since this one because I just haven't had any that were very interesting. I love this in the inner corner, it's beautiful. I love it down the center of my face and on my cheeks. So this one is 100% stay. My young, youngest loves this one too. She uses it every time she does her makeup and uses my stuff, but we're keeping her. All right, the next one is an Ofra one. It is the Nikki Tutorials Collab. It's the Highlighter Everglow. This one is so old, but it's really pretty. I like Ofra highlighters, but again, I haven't been into highlighters much. So again, going to be cut throughout. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one and pass it on to someone who can use it. The next one is another Ofra one, and this is the Milk and Cookies. This one is really pretty, but it's like a pink, two really pinky shades. And I just don't, I just don't go for the pink shades very much. So I'm going to go ahead. I mean, they're so creamy and smooth and they are blinding like the Rare Beauty, but I am going to go ahead and pass this one on as well. Like I said, I don't pull for a lot of highlighters. Honestly, I probably would be very happy and satisfied if I just had the Rare Beauty one, but we're going to pass this over one on as well. The next one's gonna be the LYS Aim High, and I have it in Brave, which is a champagne color. And again, you can tell with this one how much it's loved. I really like this one on the inner corner as well, and in my Cupid's bow, and in on my cheeks. It's a little bit more glittery, I feel like, than the Rare Beauty, but she's really pretty. I do like this one, so I am gonna go ahead and keep this one. All right, moving on to this highlighter from Essence. It's the highlighter in Memorizing. And honestly, I was a little disappointed in this one. I'm a subtle highlighter girl, and I also do enjoy a blinding highlighter. I feel like there's a time and place for both, right? But this one just did not do, do, me, do me satisfaction, I should say. I tried it and tried it in the inner corner. I tried it on the cheeks, down the center of the face. It's a very, very subtle highlighter, and the shade is just not my shade. It's a little too white for me. 
So we're gonna go ahead and pass this one on. The next one is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Halo Glow, the Hello Halo Blush Highlighter Duo. They're Mega Glows and I Met Someone from Wet n Wild. And as you can see, she's so old, so old. Um, the highlighter is beautiful. The blush is really pretty as well, but you guys, I have not used this palette in a long, long time. The high or the blush in this is right here, and it honestly could be a highlighter as well. Very beautiful and blinding, but I'm just not into it anymore. And honestly, it's so old. I've had it for years, so we're gonna actually toss this because it has probably expired by now. Does it have an expiration date on the back? It does not, but I guarantee you it's expired, so we're gonna toss that one. All right, the last one for highlighter is the Tarte Champagne, or Am sorry, Amazonian Clay in Champagne Glow. Love the packaging. I've tried this one a few times. As you can see, she has been used. It's not a bad highlighter, but I don't really like it. It emphasizes a lot of my texture. It's really pretty. It's right here. It's a really pretty glowy highlighter and it's got like a wet look to it so on the back of my hand it looks beautiful but when I put on the inner corner I don't really like the color in the inner corner and I don't like how it emphasizes texture that I have on my cheeks so I'm gonna go ahead and donate this one all right guys so on to blushes this is where it's gonna get hard I have to be very cutthroat and just really be honest with myself if you know any of these are something I see reaching for often. We're going to start with one I am going to keep, and that is the Juvia's, uh, which one is this? The Blush Rogue Volume 4. This one's really, really pretty. I like to mix the two here, and we have this nice uh, mirror. These are just really creamy, really, really pretty colors, especially for, I feel like, the summertime. So we're going to keep this one. I do use this one quite often. And there's the really, really pretty shades. Um, I like to use them on top of certain creams as well. So they're a nice powder to have to set your cream. So we are gonna keep that one. Oh, and by the way, out of seven highlighters, we kept two and tossed one and donating four. So not bad at all. All right, the next one is the Sephora, their colorful matte. And I have this one in Hey Jealousy number 17. This one is like a cream to powder and it's beautiful like very little goes a long ways it's just cute packaging too look at that packaging absolutely cute and it i don't know you guys it's just you got to be careful because it doesn't look like like what i just swatched was not much at all right here but if you go a little too much it can get a little splotchy if you use too much of it but if you're very careful, it's such a pretty color. And I still do pull for this one a lot, so I am going to keep that one. Don't worry, we are getting rid of some. The next one is this ColourPop. It's the Press Powder and Swirl. I'm going to go ahead and donate this one. I do like it. I still do pull for it from time to time. It's a really, really pretty light pink with like some peachy tones to it. However, I just don't pull for it as often as some others. So we're gonna go ahead and toss, or not toss it, why do I keep saying toss? Donate it, but she's pretty. Um, I do find it to be a bit drying on my skin as well, and I think that's one reason I don't pull for it as often because I do have dry skin. So we're gonna donate that one. The next one is she Sheila, Sheila from Benefit. It's those new ones they came out with, I think last year if I remember correctly. I really like this one as well. So I am gonna keep this one. It's really nice and creamy, not very powdery. And it's just this beautiful like peachy tone. And I don't usually pull for peachy tones. Can you guys see that? Right there, yeah, there we go. I don't really pull for a tone like this, but to be honest, I don't know. There's just something about that peach shade and the formula and I feel like a peach shade is a great shade for summer. So we are going to keep that one. All right. The next one is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte. And I have this one in Rose and Play right here. And then this one we have in Bane Bane. I'm going to donate this one. It's way too deep for me. I definitely do not pull for this one. Like I can't remember when the last time was that I used it. The formula is really nice. I mean, it's really silky and smooth and the color isn't 
too bad. And it's got a little bit of like a luminous finish to it, but the color is just not for me. So we're going to donate that one. And then this one, um, I don't know. I love the formula, but honestly, the color is just very pink. And I do have one very, very close to this pink shade here in my Juvia's Place one. But I do love the formula and the luminosity it gives because the Juvia's Place one doesn't really give a luminosity like that. It's more matte. Um, I think for this one for now, I'm going to go ahead and keep her. And then we will see if I pull for it like in other videos of mine of my declutter if I don't pull for something in the next couple weeks to a month I'll go ahead and get rid of it but I think for now we'll go ahead and keep her the next one is a new one from ColourPop it is their pressed powder blush in the shade new to you I really like this it's so silky it is not patchy ColourPop just doesn't disappoint although they do have some new sticks out that I've been debating to pick up or not and try out for you guys I don't know about that. I have, like I said, I'm trying not to purchase a lot until I get done with this declutter series. I have bought a few things, but more so things that I've already decluttered and that I've got room to bring a few more new products into, but I'm trying not to right now, but also I'm doing this for you guys being your guinea pigs by trying out new products. So it, it's something that I might go ahead and pick up and try, but I've never tried any of their cream products besides their sister brand the soul sister brand bronzer which i liked for a while but then i really started to not like the shade on me so i gave that away a long time ago way before i started my declutter series anyways i digress this is a really nice formula so i am going to keep her and the shade is close slightly close to that one from juvia's place as well but the formula again slightly different it's hard to get like a blush that's unique and has different colors than other blushes, right? I feel like a lot of blushes are the same colors. This one's almost the same color as the um, Sephora one as well. But I do like this one. Basic packaging, but also cute packaging. It's typical ColourPop packaging. I love their formulas. I love their eyeshadows. Like I feel like those just do not disappoint at all. So we're going to keep her for now. It's not one I pull for too often, but we will keep her and see how much I pull for her now. All right, this, this one though, this one out of all these blushes here, all time favorite. This is so, so beautiful. It is the new House Labs Color Fetish Blush in Pomerillo Peach. It's hard to read that writing on the back. It doesn't look like I've ever pulled for it, but I'm telling you guys I have. I use this all the time. And again, I don't usually go for a peach tone, but this is just so beautiful. Like it's Oh, it's silky, it's smooth, it's not patchy. The shade is so gorgeous and it blends like a dream. And it's a very like, see, it looks almost orangey, but then once you get it on your body, let me show you, like it's not as orange once you actually get it blended in. It's so pretty. It has a little bit of a luminosity, but it's also matte at the same time. And it's just such a perfect formula. It is my favorite 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 blush I have in my collection so of course she's staying and the packaging is absolutely amazing I love house labs packaging and I definitely want to try more stuff from house labs I loved their foundation used to be my number one until the lamb comb Karen glow came into my life now that one's number one I've used up the house labs one we'll repurchase it at some point but right now we're trying out some new lighter foundations for summertime anyways she's staying like I said favorite powder and it just it just goes on smooth it looks so beautiful and natural that's another thing I love about this is it looks so natural on the skin so I'm not getting rid of her she'll always forever be my collection this one is the kiss and tell pressed powder blush from ColourPop I've had this one for a while it's a beautiful color very very subtle and light and just as with highlighter for me there's a time and place for a very pigmented blush and there's a time and place for a very subtle and natural lighter blush and that's what this one is i don't have a lot in this shade it's like a peachy pink and i mean it's hard to see on camera because it literally just blends into my skin it is really soft and like I said, ColourPop just doesn't disappoint, but I've had this one for quite some time. It's got a little bit of luminosity, but it leans more matte. 
I am gonna go ahead and declutter this one and pass it on to someone else because I don't pull for it as much. So let's go ahead and pass her on. Um, the next one is the blush from Essence and I have this one in Believing. This is really pretty. Unlike the highlighter, I do love this one and it's a deeper tone than I normally go for, but I feel like for one, I got this in the fall and it was a beautiful color for fall, like beautiful. Just so, so pretty, look at that. But we're gonna keep her even for summer because she's so just, the shade is beautiful. Like it's mainly the shade, the formula isn't bad, but I love the shade and even though it's not something that I will reach for too often in the summer because of the shade, I am gonna keep her. You and I have used her already this summer, so I will continue to use it and I will go ahead and continue to use it in the fall because I used it a lot during the fall time. The next one I'm sad about, it is the Essence New Pure Nude Baked Blushes. I have this one in pink flush. I do want to try this in one that's not as shimmery. I knew there was going to be some shimmer in and I was okay with that, but this was like shimmer city. It was too much shimmer for me and having my fine lines and texture and pores and all that, it was just too much. And the shimmer moved around on my face. It didn't stay on my cheeks. So by the end of the day, I had so much glitter and shimmer on my face. I didn't like it. The formula is really nice and I liked, I like big blushes, but not this one. I, I, like I said, I do want to pick one up that has less shimmer because there are some that has none, some that have this amount and then just a little bit less. So I probably will at some point pick up another one and try it out probably off camera because I already tried this on camera and the, I felt like the formula is nice and the shade is nice. It's just too much shimmer. So I'm going to pass this one on because I have not reached for it since God knows when. The next one is this Physicians F Formula Strawberry Jam. This was the cutest one when I got it, you guys. It had strawberries in the middle, and I love the packaging. It's such a pretty formula. However, it's got a weird smell to it. I've had it for a long time. That's what the shade looks like. Really pretty. And yeah, see, it's not blending as well as it used to. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one as in put it in the trash because I'm pretty sure it has expired by now. But I'm telling you guys, if you can find this, I got on Amazon, you should pick it up because I loved it for the longest time. I pull for this all the time. It's sad that the strawberries don't last long. It was a cute little decoration on it, but pick it up if you can find it on Amazon because it is a beautiful, beautiful blush, but based off of how it felt when I swatched and it kind of had a weird smell, I have had it for quite some time. It has to have been expired by now. All right, next one is a Milani baked blush and I have it in Berry Amore. This one is almost like the Essence where it's got some shimmer to it, not as much. The shimmer does move around a little bit, but not as much as the Essence. It's a beautiful baked formula. It's not drying. Can you see that shimmer? Here, let me try to swatch it here. I mean, it's so lightweight. You guys may not be able to even see the shimmer on camera or even the color. Okay, now let's swatch it and then can you guys see that shimmer? It's a beautiful shade. It's got slight shimmer, but it's just one that I'm not pulling for anymore. I used to pull for it quite a bit, but as I'm getting older, like I don't want all this glitter on my face. You know, I'm going on 38 this year. I don't need to emphasize all my textures, so I'm gonna pass this one on as well. The last one is my second favorite for my collection with my powder blushes. And this is the Too Faced Cloud Crush. And I have this one, or Blurring Blush, and I have this one in Cloud Crush. And she's so beautiful. The shade is pretty. As you can see, she's always, always used. Um, which is funny because the House Labs, like I said, looks like it hasn't been used, but it has, I promise you. I've used that one more than this one. And this one looks like it's used. Anyways, I digress. Beautiful shade. It's so silky. It's not patchy. Again, the shade is close to a lot of what I have or have now decluttered. But look at that formula. It's so luminous, but not like too luminous. It's smoothing. It's blurring. It really does blur my skin. So, of course, we're keeping this one. I, no, would never get rid of this. And I 100% would repurchase this. All right, so on to our 
powder bronzers now. All right, there is one that is very new in my collection, but I'm sharing it because, well, it's in my collection. We're gonna start up here with the Physician's Formula. Um, let's toast. This one I enjoyed for a while. Wait, is this a bronzer or a highlighter? This is a highlighter, wow. Totally thought it was a bronzer. So I don't remember how I felt about this one. I thought this was a bronzer I picked up. I'm gonna just say donate this because I totally thought it was a bronzer. It's a highlighter. I'm gonna donate, actually, let me check it because I got this around the strawberry jam one and it was came out at the same time. Let me go ahead and swatch it real quick for you guys. I remember it being very powdery. Yeah, see, it's very powdery. And I feel like it has a weird smell too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that one aside and we're gonna toss that one. Okay, well, moving on. The next one is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Bronzer. I do like this one. This one's just hard because I don't pull for it much, but I do like in the summertime to have a glowing, a little bit of a shimmer, not too much bronzer, especially to set maybe a cream. And I love the shade of this one. It's got slight orange tone to it, but it's not too bad. And it's got a slight shimmer, but it's not too shimmery. I hope you guys can see that. I'm doing natural light. There you go, right here. It's got a slight shimmer. It's not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and keep her because I do pull for it from time to time. And I do want to have at least a couple of these in my collection. There is one I have here that I will 100% be keeping, but we're gonna go ahead and keep this one. And then this one is the Sugar Rush one. It's the same, it's baked. It's just the same as that Tarte one. It's got the shimmer, but it's a little too orange for my liking. And I have had it for a long time, longer than that one. It's got a luminosity because it's got that sheen to it, but I don't need to keep that one because A, I have this Tarte one and there's another one I'm gonna be keeping that I like a little bit more. So I'm actually gonna have to declutter this one as in go in the trash because I've had it for so long, it's expired by now, without a doubt. All right, the next one is this ColourPop one. It is their matte bronzers. They came out with these not too long ago with their blushes. It's the Avelia Beach. This one's a little light, but I do like it for more of a natural look and it's just as good as the blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. See how light that is? It just really blended into my skin. But the nice thing is about this formula is it is so light. I have to build it up even for just that natural look. However, it doesn't get really dry, cakey, and it doesn't look too much on my face even with building it up and it doesn't look powdery. So I am gonna keep that one. All right, the next one is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Wear Soft Matte Bronzer, and I have this one in the shade Fair. It is a lighter shade than what I was expecting. It looks, as you can see, if you look in the pan, it does look darker. I've almost hit pan in the middle. I do really like to use this. It's a very nice, natural bronzer, but I do need a, the next shade up. I assumed looking in the pan fair actually was going to be a little darker. That's why I was like, okay, I'll go with fair because light looked to be, or yeah, light looked to be a little too dark. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Um, I'll actually see if my youngest wants it because fair would probably work for her skin tone, but I definitely do want to pick it up again, just in a darker shade. It's really nice. If you've been debating on this, it's not a new one for sure. It's been out for a while. Um, pick it up. Just don't get fair. If you're like a light to medium skin tone, go ahead and get light. Don't let what it looks like in the pan be deceiving as in how it's gonna apply to your face. The shade's gonna be a little bit lighter, but it's really nice and smooth. It's really beautiful and natural. So I will declutter it, but we're gonna go ahead and pick it up again at some point. The next one is the LYS No Limits Matte Bronzer. I have this in Light Motivate. It's a little too dark for me. The undertone, is too dark. I'm not sure how this can be a light shade. I'm not sure where they're getting light and it's a little orange. I don't like too orange of a bronzer on my face. Sometimes a little bit of an orange undertone is okay, but this one's too orange. So we're going to donate this one as well. The next one we're going to go for is the Jaclyn Cosmetics and I have it in vitamin D. Beautiful packaging. I love her lip oil. Love this and it's so big, luxe and feels nice. I've only tried those two products from Jaclyn Cosmetics, but I'm obsessed and it smells like coffee and we're gonna keep this. This is a very nice and smooth 
luminous but natural but also not like luminous as in glowy and glittery it's just this beautiful natural luminous bronzer and it's got such a beautiful sheen to it and it smells so good totally smells like coffee and um she's used a lot we're hitting we're starting to hit pan a little in the middle but and i love the big mirror so it would be great for travel but we're gonna keep that one all right, the next one is the Essence Sun Club Luminous Bronzing Powder in Medium Tone. I don't like this one. It's too orange as well. I, that's a big problem I have with a lot of them is they just run too orange. Like this one's really orange on me right here. The formula is nice. It's the undertone. Um, I tried to make it work a few times by adding a different bronzer with it, whether it was a different cream bronzer with a different undertone under this or another bronzer on top of this. This one's in 20 Sun Kissed in California, but I love the size and the price. Essence pricing is amazing and their formulas really are good, but not the shade for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one on as well. The next one, I'm sure you're gonna know, it's the House Labs Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer and I have in light level three. I don't know why with this one you can see that it's been used but the powder blush you can't i don't know it's gotta be the formula but this is so like creamy and soft and smooth and natural looking on my skin and i love the tone and the undertone and again the packaging is amazing i'm keeping that one and the very last one is the newest to my collection i'm not gonna give a big speech on it because I haven't done my speed reviews yet, but it is the MAC Radiant Medium Golden is the shade. It is their skin finish. You guys, this packaging is to die for. I am going to keep it. I'm not going to give a review on it. I have used it some time. I'll just say I have used it more than once or twice or three times, but that's as far as we're going to go with review. I love that it has a mirror. Um, it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, so it's almost like this Tarte one, and that's why I picked it up, because I knew that I was going to be doing this video, and I knew a lot of these luminous bronzers I have, like the Tarte, the Sugar Rush, and the Essence one, I was going to be getting rid of. Well, I assumed I was going to get rid of this one, then I decided to keep it for now. That one may go ahead and get decluttered, too, if I don't pull four in the next couple weeks to a month. So I wanted to pick up another one for the summertime, because I just love that look in the summer. However... Uh, not gonna do it not giving you a review but because it is new to my collection we are keeping it for now all right guys so that is my declutter series let's see here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten bronzers and out of those ten i'm only keeping five of them so half and half getting rid of five and keeping five thank you guys so much for watching like i said please subscribe give the video a thumbs up make sure you have the bell notification on and we have one more to go that is cream blush bronzer highlighter and we'll be done for now like i said we'll do it again later on in the year or early 2024 thank you guys so much and i'll see you later bye here is the end results of our powder declutter i love you guys thank you so much for watching and don't forget to smash that subscribe